that girl is a depth slave. Silly goose, there's no competition here. I mean, just look at her. She's practically a ghoul. Eh? Her skin is so dry. Ah! So clumsy! You, where's my water? And my breakfast? What's going on? Why has Fuyan wasted money on this trash? She's not even a good servant. Fuyan! Fuyan! Stop your caterwauling. She's not here. <laughs> Yukta, has Fuyan got a secret lover? Is that why she's never around in the morning? I heard you demanding breakfast. Why don't you take a skinny ass down the kitchen if you're that hungry? If Fuyan is printing so much money, then she can afford to take in such a useless orphan. Then she can afford to give me some time off. Don't you think? You better buck up, girl. Good morning, Inspector. Tea? I hope I'm not interrupting anything, ma'am. Do you have more questions for me? According to our investigations, you were at the brothel the evening in which Ayat was killed. Several witnesses confirmed this. So it would seem you have an alibi. I'm here to let you know that you're in the clear, for now. Because no one actually saw you in your room the whole night. No one saw me outside either. What are you hiding? Who is the real Fongla? The Madam of House Phoenix? Or a lady who enjoys reading English books by the river? She was once a country girl, sold to work in a rich man's home so that her family could replace the buffalo she killed. The eldest son of the master took a shine to her and seduced her. After he took her virtue, he abandoned her, leaving her a shamed woman. She thought that perhaps if she began anew elsewhere, that she could find someone else to love her. No man could accept her past. So she killed the man who caused her all this misery. So rare to meet a well-read policeman. So rare to find a madam who reads. Especially one who knows Thomas Hardy. Really, Inspector? Did you have to spoil the ending for me?
Emily. <laughs> Chilling. Hi. Where's Harry? Um, back at the hotel, I guess. Why? I heard you applied for the heritage status for the shop house. Not sure if Harry told you, but I don't do rentals. Heritage status? I don't know anything about that. One of my contacts told me that there has been an application made. How dare you go behind my back? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm sorry for going to your great-grandmother's room. It's just that I got really excited because she's the madame of the house. So she's the only one with an entire room to herself. I mean, not that she had to entertain clients, but that wasn't a job. That's not what you're angry about. Does heritage application ring a bell? I was going to talk about that with you. After you stopped me from selling this place? I'm sorry, but the application is... Just get out! Chi Ling? Out! Now! Before I go, I think you should know that dress is pretty special. Might be worth something. I want to buy Virgin. Madam Lam, Fong Wang Kok offers certain services for the discerning gentleman, but we neither have virgins nor do we sell girls. I'm sure Master Lam is aware of that. Yes, yes. I know he is one of your customers. Unless he is dissatisfied with our services. Is that why he's asking you to buy His a... physician has indicated that he needs more young energy. And a young virgin will do the trick. I see. I've already contacted all the brokers. The war has disrupted all the ships between China and here. And the only ones who managed to bring in girls last month were you and Lo Se. My girls are not for sale. $1,000. I don't even need her to be pretty. Just unspoiled. That urchin who served me tea earlier? How much do you pay to get her? $400? I'm paying you double that amount and more. Good day, Madam Lam. Ayoko will see you out. So far, he's refused money from all gangs. He even told Lo Se to report the bright money as stolen property. I'm not sure if he's just naive or holding on for bigger bribes. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to be a good policeman. Thank you. There you are. Come. Oh, yeah. It's my turn to wear the ivory hat pin. Stop treating it like the lucky charm. Huh. What if it is? This eh? girls, they'll be the death of me. Fuyan! Fuyan! Come here. Sit. Have you ever learned to read and write?
before I go, I think you should know that dress is pretty special. Your madame has an entire dossier dedicated to her. Most of the work was done by the first Chinese inspector to oversee this area, Mark Hongzhu. Wow. This paints the madame of the house of Phoenix in a totally different light. That shop lot is a story that is dying to be told, Guo Wen. Yeah, about that, Gerald. I need you to withdraw the heritage application. Come in. Sir, the book you wanted. Thank you. Name, girl. It's your father, Madam Lam. You know me. You were listening, weren't you, when I was speaking with your mistress? You are very pretty, so far. A girl like you shouldn't be a servant. Come in. Inspector Russell, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Anything to be of assistance. Madam Phoenix, what do you know about her? She has nice girls. Better than the ones on Malay Street. I hear you're a, a bit of a Puritan. I guess you're just a man like the rest of us. And it seems a man with expensive tastes. You frequented her establishment? She'd invite me over. And when the madam of the House of Phoenix invites you over, you do not say no. I've noticed we don't have much background on her. She doesn't appear to have any formal papers either. She runs the most successful brothel in town and somehow still manages to charge three times as much. She doesn't do anybody any harm. 
she runs a nice establishment. And I'm sure the person that gave her the money to start the brothel is not going to be asking too many questions. Really. <laughs> if the girls are doing a good job. If Lose provides her with protection, why have the police there too? She throws anybody out who doesn't play by her rules. It doesn't matter if it's a businessman, a policeman, or a gangster. And you can't do that unless you play all the sides. That's why she wasn't afraid to throw out Ayet. Inspector, my job then was to keep peace between the gangs, not to keep tabs on the madness of this town. Now, if there's nothing else. Get your men to send me the files of all the missing women from 1925 to 1932. Would that be all I can help you with? For now. Thank you. Super! You're damn hungry! I was up first. Who cares about you? You guys don't have to do this. Like, no, 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 no. What do you mean she's gone? I swear I'm gonna beat her till she's blue and black all over when I find her. This morning when I woke up, nothing was done. Did someone have taken her? No one would dare to do that to Fong Wong Kong. Um, do you know what is the time now? It's, I don't know. Okay. We're just having yeah, a conversation. Okay. Anyway, what are you doing? You're hungry! This is not my car. I'm hungry! Siu Lan! Zhao Sang has booked you for 3 p.m. Go get ready. The rest of you don't have any clients until after dinner. If you're hungry, there's food in the kitchen. Go help yourself. Otherwise, I suggest you go back to bed so you don't look like hungry ghosts when your clients arrive. Yes, Fu Yan. Yes, Fu Yan. Yes, Fu Yan. Siu <sighs> Sama. Go to Lam Mansion, the back door. Tell me what you find. Hi, Fu Yan. <clears throat> Peace offering. I withdrew the application. Her name was Lang. My great grandmother. I was named after her. Mom gave me her copy of Tess when I was 12 and insisted I read it. I never liked the story. I always thought it was depressing. Austin girl. Jackie Collins. Explain, Harry. You know, it was almost unheard of for a woman to be educated back then, much less be able to read or write. She must have been from an educated family or a rich one. Which makes it completely incomprehensible why she ended up running a brothel. I mean, a woman like her, she could have been someone's wife. This book? Must have been special to her for a reason. And look, I shouldn't have done anything without asking you first. I guess I got ahead of myself and I'm sorry. Well, at least you're passionate about something. Sometimes I wish I had something I was crazy enough to throw everything away for. Money? I suppose. You know, finding this book with her name on it, I feel connected to her somehow. Maybe I'm just upset after my fight with Harry. But he loves you. Sometimes it feels like he loves the idea of me. You know, successful, pretty wife, someone to aid in his ambition. 
You're not that pretty. Hey. Oh, I wanted to tell this morning that I found out which is your great grandma's room. Come on. Inspector. Matter of Phoenix. Excellent timing. I need your help. One of my girls has been kidnapped. Nothing but the best for Maslam's new wife, yes? I have some Shandong soup. Just standard silk will do. What is the meaning of this? Inspector, this is my servant girl. I have no idea what you're talking about. Inspector, I found this girl loitering about my backyard. Come. No. Inspector, this girl does not want to go back to a brothel. Are you really going to force her? Did you run away from the House of Phoenix? Or were you kidnapped? That is outrageous. Speak, girl. Sufa, tell the inspector how you were treated at the House of Phoenix. I had to work all day and take care of those demanding women. I was tired all the time and I never had enough food to eat. So I came here. No one goes hungry at Feng Wang Gong. Did Madame Lam teach you to say all this? Are you accusing me of lying? <laughs> to think I was prepared to pay you good money for her? A thousand! Inspector, I saved this girl. Sufa, tell the inspector. I want to be Master Lam's wife. I will have nice clothes to wear, good food to eat. And I don't need to serve those harlots day and night. Why must I have such a hard life there? And here, I can have a good life and sleep all day if I want to. Inspector, I think it's very clear that this girl would like to stay here. Do you know how old Master Lam is? Twenty. Madam Lam told me. You think you're going to marry young Master Lam? You are destined for old Master Lam. You are going to be his third wife. And he's 68. I'd like to speak to her, in private. Who do you think you are? Just a few minutes. beautiful clothes, the big house, and the servants, they're all very tempting. But trust me, I can give you a better life than you being a... <sighs> You're not going to be a Muay Thai forever. I am going to teach you how to read and write, and then send you off to be a companion girl to a rich family. You'll have a chance at... Have you take the money from Madame Lam. You're wasting your time with me. Mm -hmm. 
I know I'm for the old man. I've heard you two talking. Don't worry. I know how to lie down and open my legs. What? You're not a virgin. Oh, I was a virgin many times since I was seven. I'll make sure there's blood. So she thinks she's got her virgin. Better a wife than a whore. No, I want to stay! Satisfied now? What are you people doing here? You charge three times what other brothels charge. So money is clearly important to you. Yet, you turn down a pricely sum for Madame Lamb for that girl. Why? Thank you, Inspector, for your help. I need to get ready for business now. What did she say to you in that room? It doesn't matter. Ha, 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 ha. 